Marzano says, when it comes to YouTube videos, is a pre-recorded live stream video a substantial disadvantage to uploading a video file that has the properties filled out with keywords? You know, I still find a better bump pre uh, live streaming a pre-recorded video where you can't, you know, there's no reason to optimize the metadata of a video file if you're going to live stream it because none of that video, that metadata gets seen, right? If you're pre, if you're streaming, there is no metadata. <laughs> like you can't, you can't geotag a, a file. Well, you can, you can geotag the file, but if you're streaming it, that, that metadata is never seen. Um, I'm still getting a, a little bit more of a boost by like using OBS or whatever to live stream. Um, but I, is it worth the extra trouble? I don't know. I'm, you know, sometimes it's, it's just faster to just, you know, I use mass optimizer pro um, to geotag MP4 files. And um, sometimes it's easier just to take a batch of videos and tag them and then just upload them all at once than it is to live stream them um, personally. Like, but you still, I, you, it still helps. If you live stream, you do get a little bit more of an SEO bump from it. I'm doing more video stuff right now. That's one of the methods I'm testing to get over the Google business stuff um, is, is getting back into doing video SEO, which I haven't done for years because I've just been using paid traffic um, for video stuff. But um, because of Google business changing now and requiring video verifications may kill the whole lead gen side of business, like, you know, creating new assets. Um, I think YouTube might be one of it's, it's, it's something I'm looking at really hard to try to try to get back into doing, you know, popping videos for local search terms. Um, so that's kind of what I'm working on, but I haven't proven it out yet. So.